Hey guys, this is Ducky, and this is part two of my uh, tent tutorial. So let's get on to building the turret. Uh, this is just the same as the auto turret, so it's very simple. I won't go through it all. So if you don't don't understand what I'm doing, um, tricky and or both have brilliant tutorials on how to make what I'm making well, the base of what I'm making now uh, so this is a little uh, little trip trick uh, spawn a beacon sensor with just bearing on and if you spawn it there it spawns like upright so now I can unfreeze this and start to make it into the auto turret shape. So press R on the top and ball socket there and there, just like normal. There and there. Lift this up, go down to wire, physics, uh, hydraulics, fixed off, width, whatever you want. Uh, material, what you like, well, whatever you want, and now go to wire control, uh, chip time accumulator, put that there, go to gate expression, uh, oh, I uh, don't need this, that was just testing. Uh, I'll post this on the website as usual along with those binds that I promised okay that looks like it's all in order go down to wire physics thruster um, value of multiplier of 20 maximum of 20 uh, bi-directional on collision off enable sound off I don't like that works out of water has to be on Uh, now let's wire it up. So the accumulator goes to the beacon sensor output elevation. Uh, bearing goes to beacon sensor bearing. Thrust goes to thrust on the expression. So just click on it once. On the expression once. Uh, Alright, now. I need to wire length to accumulator and go to wire detection, laser pointer receiver, uh, weapons, laser pointer. Sorry if I'm going fast, I don't have much time. Uh, right click to link it and then do the same as you do for a beacon sensor and right click that. Yeah. So if I go up, so does that. Now, sometimes this doesn't work, so I'm going to have to be careful. Oh, yay, it's actually going to work for me. I'm so happy about that. I've actually done this tutorial about ten times trying to get it to work, and I've had to restart it every time. Well, wow, that's nice. So now we send this up and we also bring ah uh, that didn't go too well. Uh there's probably loads of different stuff on there, so um before you try lift it up, dupe it. And like I did. Yep. Uh, just turn this all on. In fact, I'm going to use the one that's actually got an on off switch. So this is just um, an, like a loss of power that I made ages ago for this originally. As you can see, it's got lots of stuff. And mute 
I'd mute it right now. So I'm going to turn this on. Okay, I'm back. And now we just need to add the CDS weapons. I'm just going to go for a simple... Um, super gun. I'll have a few of them. Just place that there. 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 And there. We want this to be very powerful. So link them like normal. And link them to that. So they all have what they need now. Go to tools wire input and output uh, numpad input with your firing number I'm hearing a beeping somewhere which isn't good um, so fire goes to numpad input I'm running out of time Half, uh, see I'm still loading stuff to YouTube and then in the middle one go right click to get to draw beam and have go to the laser point receiver output active so now we have a satellite turret thing it's a pressure button there you have it there's an awesome thing that you can use on any server that has CDS. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. This is Ducky, over and out.